Minasan konnichiwa, this is Tina and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about poke. If that sounds like your thing, then please go ahead and channel to the good. We all have them, whether we like it or not, and there is no miracle cure to get rid of your pores because you physically cannot get rid of your pores or shrink the size of them. But there are definitely ways to make them less noticeable. So I thought I would share my tips and um, product recommendations that I have been using for my pore health. Poor health, is that a thing? <laughs> First, let's talk about instant results. One method that I like to do and do probably the most frequently is deep cleansing. By now, I hope that all of us know that we should be double cleansing at the end of every day, especially if we wear makeup. This helps to keep our skin clear and prevent breakouts, but it can also help to unclog the dirt and oil buildup in our pores. When I say deep cleansing, it is a little bit different to our regular double cleansing. I don't I don't know if it's an official term, I kind of just came up with it, but it's when we want to focus and take our time to really unclog and melt down the oil buildup in those pores. I tend to do this when my skin starts to feel rough, especially in the nose area. I can just tell like one morning I'll wake up and be like, oh, my nose is rough. So that's when I decide to do a deep cleanse. You can do this by simply using a generous amount of your regular oil cleanser and massaging it for a longer amount than usual, especially in the areas of concern. This would usually um, be the T-zone for most people. For me, it would definitely be my nose, number one, and then my chin. My forehead, I don't actually have um, that much oil buildup, so it tends to be literally like around my nose and chin. As you are massaging the oil cleanser on your skin, you will gradually start to feel that roughness go away. That means that the oil cleanser has successfully broken down that oil in your pores. For me, I usually do it somewhere between three to five minutes. It seems like a long time, but really do just focus in on getting that smooth skin. And once you feel like you've done enough, you can just wash it off like you normally would your oil cleanser. As I said, you can use any oil cleanser you've got at home, but the two that I recommend and have been using the most lately is the Numbersen Easy Peasy Cleansing Oil and the Manual Pure Cleansing Oil. Both of these are actually marketed to specifically help with the reduction of black heads and sebum. How true is that? Well, it is true because all oil cleansers are going to help, but I do like to believe that these are helping um, a little bit extra. <laughs> the Numbers and Easy Peasy Cleansing Oil is more of a lightweight texture, so it's great for people who don't like that heavy or sticky feeling that some oil cleansers may have. It is made from corn and macadamia oil and is said to help remove 94.39% of waste whatever that means. I do recommend it for combo and oily skin types. It is alcohol free, but does have added fragrance. Compared to the Manyo Pure Cleansing Oil, this one does have a slightly thicker texture, especially compared to the Number Zen. It is made up of 14 different plant-derived oil ingredients and is said to remove 99.73% of fine dust. I would recommend it more for people who have drier skin types since it does seem to be a little bit more moisturizing. Again, it is alcohol free, but does contain essential oils. If fragrance is a concern, my favorite oil cleanser still to this day is the Muji Mild Oil Cleansing. It is alcohol, fragrance, um, all that free and is made of olive, jojoba and sunflower seed oil. I just know that this one is a little bit harder to access online and not many retailers sell it, so I don't recommend it um, as often as I would love to, but that is also another option if you're able to get your hands on the Muji one. Once you are done with your oil cleanser, please do make sure to follow up with a second step or water-based cleanser because we don't want to leave any of that oil residue left on our skin. Something you can do along with your deep cleanse and even directly after is clay masking. Personally, I am not a huge fan of clay masks just because I do have drier dehydrated skin, but I know a lot of oily skinned people love doing clay masks and I still like to incorporate them into my routine every now and then. Most of the time, their intention is to help draw out impurities and help clear out 
out your pores, which it does do that to an extent. Clay does attract that excess sebum and dirt, and then the drying out process does help to tighten your pores and make them appear smaller. If your skin can handle it, of course, go ahead and apply it to your whole face. If you do have drier skin like me, you can always just apply it in the areas of concern, which usually would be the T-zone. Another tip is to wash it off before it's completely dry to help retain your skin's moisture. I am not one for a full-on thick clay mask, but these are the two that I've been enjoying lately since they do have other benefits to them too. First, the Isn't Tree Real Mugwort Clay Mask. First of all, I love the creamy formula of this one. The fact that it is in a tube instead of a jar like every single other clay mask usually is, signifies that it is a thinner formula. As you may have guessed as well, one of the reasons why I enjoy this one so much is the mugwort extract included in it. I love this ingredient since it is great for sensitive skin and helps to calm and soothe the skin when you are experiencing irritation. So this one will be great for people who have normal, combo or even oily skin, but do have a little bit of concern of having sensitivity and need a bit of soothing care. It also washes off way easier compared to those thicker clay masks and it does have a fragrance. It is the natural fragrance of mugwort. I know some people don't like it, but to me, it's a very nice, um, like herbal earthy scent. The other clay mask that I've been trying lately is the I'm From Beat Purifying Mask. This one is a brand new baby. I think it was only released like literally a few days ago, but you guys know I love the brand I'm From, so I had to dig in as soon as I received it from Wishtrend. Also, isn't the packaging so cute? It is pink like who wouldn't love it the actual formula is a gorgeous pink color as well due to the red beet ingredient once again it does do everything a clay mask would but this one is said to be more moisturizing which i love for my dry skin beetroots are known to be rich in vitamins b carotene and is considered to be a superfood that has great antioxidant and soothing benefits my skin does feel softer but no tight feeling after i wash off this mask so I would recommend it for those who do have drier skin but poor concerns like me. Next, we're moving on to semi-instant results. So these are products, in my personal opinion, that give semi-instant results. By that, I mean by using them a few times a week, like two to three times a week, you will see results in a week or two. And they are actually both sheet masks. The first one is the Rovectin Dr. Mask Pore. Rovectin's sheet mask game is strong. They just recently came came out with another sheet mask, the Lotus Water Calming Sheet Mask, and I absolutely loved that one. So I had to get my hands on this one right away as well. Although my skin type isn't like the number one target skin type for the new sheet mask, I still saw its benefits on my skin too. You guys are always asking me for oily and combo skin type recommendations, which is not my skin type, but the perfect skin type for this sheet mask. Revectin uses their patented tannin complex which is made of eight plant derived ingredients and is what helps to control excess sebum and tighten those pores. But it also has a very high concentration of birch tree extract which makes it super hydrating hence why it works even for my dehydrated skin. Use it like you would any other sheet mask on clean skin prepped with toner or essence and leave it for about 10 to 20 minutes. At first I was a little bit worried that it was going to dry out my skin but the sheet is soaked with the essence and it is quite a thin sheet so it adheres really well to the skin as well. It honestly is kind of a weird experience and something that I haven't experienced with other sheet masks before but when I go to take it off I can tell the areas where I have excess sebum because those areas of the sheet mask are actually drier than the other areas where I am more dry. It's kind of strange it's like this sheet mask knows where my areas of concern are and is more oily. So it like concentrates the essence in those areas, if that makes any sense whatsoever. If you want to experience it, definitely try it out. After a few uses, I definitely felt like the pores, especially on my upper cheek area, seemed more smoothed out. Revectin did also perform a clinical trial where they saw 17.75% reduction in pore size just from using the sheet mask twice a week for two weeks. So that's only four uses. I feel like that's pretty pretty impressive. I would recommend it for those who have pore concerns but want something easy rather than having to kind of apply and wash off a clay mask. The other sheet mask I have is the Kiana Nadeshiko Rice Mask. This Japanese sheet mask has been so popular for so long and the word Kiana which means pore 
is literally in the name. So I felt the need to mention it. Japan definitely has a different approach to poor care. I think when most people hear poor care, they think to draw out the impurities, reduce excess sebum, um, get rid of the oil and etc. But this rice mask actually focuses on deep hydration and refining skin, which eventually leads to the appearance of smaller pores. It doesn't talk about or contains any ingredients that are oil reducing or pore tightening but instead it uses its rice serum to deeply hydrate nourish smooth skin texture and to brighten skin tone rice is one of my favorite skincare ingredients that is often found in asian skincare i mean there is a reason why we consume so much of it. The rice serum that is soaked into these sheet masks contain fermented rice extract, rice bran oil, rice ceramides, and rice bran extract. It allows for deep hydration, which in turn plumps up the skin from the inside and smooths out the skin's surface. It is the same as how pores can appear more noticeable when your skin is sagging, and as soon as you pull it up, the pores do seem to diminish. They do recommend to use this one just for a quick five minutes on a clean skin it comes in a pack of 10 for about 650 yen in japan and on amazon us they do sell it for less than 10 dollars as well so very affordable it is less than a dollar per sheet mask and it is also gentle enough to use every day i would say using it every day or every second day is going to give you quicker results but my skin definitely feels well hydrated plumped up and my pores on my cheeks do seem more smoothed out when i use this one frequently lastly let's talk about long-term results. This is the long haul game. In all honesty, you can do these instant and semi-instant methods, but nothing is permanent. We are supposed to have pores and it is completely normal to be able to see them. But there are a few things that you can incorporate into your routine regularly, which in the long run will help the appearance and texture of your pores. Incorporating an essence. Essences are highly concentrated um, elixirs, if you will, that are going to help with hydration, brightening skin tone, and also improving overall skin health. It is something more commonly found in Asian skincare and is usually of a water-like consistency, allowing it to hydrate into the deeper layers of your skin. Whenever I keep an essence in my routine, I feel like my skin is just overall healthier, um, more resilient, and my skin stays soft and smooth for longer. I would say probably a month into using an essence is when you'll see the real difference and even when you remove the essence from your routine is when you're going to realize how much it was doing for your skin. The one that I am currently using is the Neogen Real Ferment Micro Essence. This one I have loved from a while back and since I opened it this time, I have been using it every single day, morning and night and I am quickly getting through it because I just love it that much and it really does help prep your skin for the rest of your skincare as well. Other popular ones are the Secret Key one as well as the Misha one and of course the OG SK2. I actually recently got my hands on it thanks to YesStyle. Look, I finally got the SK2 Essence, Pitara Essence that started it all. Ain't it gorgeous? Um, So many of you guys have asked me to review this one but we all know it is so freaking expensive. But but um, since so many of you guys asked for it, I finally got my hands on it and I will be properly trying it out and reviewing this one. Don't worry, it is coming. Something else that can help in the long run is using chemical exfoliants. Chemical exfoliants compared to physical exfoliants are going to take longer to work, but they do definitely help with pores and skin texture as well. Essentially, they unbind the glue that is holding on to the debris and dead skin cells that need a little bit of help to shed from the skin's surface. AHAs are generally recommended for normal to drier skin types as it works more on the surface, whereas BHAs are recommended for oily and acne prone skin since it is a oil soluble formula. Personally, I do not have any specific product recommendations because I have not found that chemical exfoliant that I have fallen in love with, but the Paula's Choice 2% BHA and the COSRX BHA Power Liquid are the ones that come to mind that are cult favorites for many. Chemical exfoliants do usually take about three plus weeks to see results. Well, I hope there was something beneficial for you in this video. Once again, pores are completely normal. Actually, we won't be able to function as human beings if we didn't have pores. So 
Thank you, all pores. But it is nice to know that there are things we can do to help the appearance of our pores and elevate our skin health. So if you have any product recommendations or any methods that you personally do to help your pore situation, please leave it in a comment below so we can share our experiences. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you check out another one of my videos. I have selected two here for you to check out and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Mwah.